Do you own an aquarium at home? Well, if you do, this algae I'm about to show you might look familiar. Unfortunately, people in San Diego either flushed it or dumped it here into the San Diego Bay. And even though it might have been harmless, it now has become a big problem that's going to cost $4 million to fix. Yeah, Calerpa has an impact by, by, uh, by basically forcing out, out-competing the, the native eelgrass and other forms of life in San Diego Bay that support the fisheries. Calerpa prolifera. This algae was discovered in our waters last November, only a couple months after California banned it. You can find it in pet stores, on Amazon and Etsy, and now in our San Diego Bay, where it doesn't belong. Calerpa is not harmful to humans. It's killing our local algae, which is food for our local fish, and sea turtles to eat. Our wildlife can't eat this calerpa either. Now environmental agencies are attacking the algae. Essentially, the tarp kills the algae underneath it. It keeps it from getting the sunlight that it needs to grow. Uh, and so we're deploying pieces of tarp and broad areas of tarp to control where we found it. But because it breaks off and small pieces can grow, and it's growing several millimeters per day, I mean, you can almost see it growing in front of your eyes if you're underwater. Um, it has the real potential to spread beyond just those key areas. The bigger message here today is if you have Calerpa algae at home, do not flush it and don't dump it into the San Diego Bay. And if you ever come across it and have the potential to buy it, don't buy it so that this infestation can be resolved. Reporting in Coronado, I'm Danny Miskell, ABC 10 News.